everybody Ann here I'm sitting outside I've already had my coffee because you saw that video yesterday well I'm filming this on the same day to publish tomorrow uh, anyhow so things are looking up um, and how I've been managing keeping this purse in the back mm, you'll see why I'm doing that in a minute here because I just ate lunch um, how I'm managing keeping Miss Pris free-ranging in the van with her chicks and still allowing to let the other chickens go up and um, lay their eggs because they don't have anywhere else to lay their eggs and I have no way to keep Miss Pris inside with her chicks and I don't want Miss Pris outside with her chicks because it's supposed to rain again for the next couple of days. Um, well, what I do is I just keep the, the side door closed and uh, I, I watch the hens. I, I've kind of learned what it seems like when they're wanting to lay an egg. They start clucking a little bit more and they'll walk up to the van door that's open. And so what I will do is because usually um, Coco will lay, then Roxy right after her. So I just let Romeo up in the van too. And it seems like the chickens are, the baby chicks and Miss Pris are fine. Um, she protects them just as she would out free ranging. And uh, Romeo and uh, uh, Roxy and Coco don't try and attack the baby chickens and uh, they better not because they'll uh, they'll get it from Miss Pris. Anyhow, so I just let them in for a period of time and I check on them every so often to see if they've laid their eggs. Once they've laid their eggs, I let them out and make sure Miss Pris and her baby chicks stay in the van. And it's kind of a, it's a hard thing to do because I gotta constantly be watching you know what the hens are doing because I don't want them to not be able to lay their eggs they need to be able to lay their eggs and uh, I don't want them getting egg bound so I'm just working a little bit extra for a little bit you know longer um, it's not really gonna warm up substantially but uh, these chicks baby chicks aren't feathered out enough to um, conquer you know the temperature drop when it rains so anyhow um, I went foraging for mushrooms I have been thinking about puffball mushrooms so much lately. And look what we have here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the legit kind. Oh, and it is brand new. Oh, I'm going to get this out of the ground. See, that's what it looks like in the ground. So that the chickens won't peck at it. Oh, yeah, buddy. I'm eating that tonight. Or maybe even for, I don't know, like brunch or something. Oh, it's beautiful. And it's heavy, too. It is, like, heavy. All right, I'm going to look around and see if I can find any more mushrooms that I can eat. Oh, yeah. Another one. This is by the bottom part of my property. Same kind. Going to get it. These cropped up basically overnight. Oh, that's, that's meaty. I got to tell you guys that this, these are very, very lucky. I can't believe I found two in one day and uh, yeah I don't know what I'm gonna put them in I have just been craving wild mushrooms so bad and these go really well with eggs but I kinda wanna do a pasta dish like I always do but check it two puffball mushrooms so far unfortunately the first one that I found is inedible it's it's past its prime it's starting to turn yellow there's some white parts in it but I'm not gonna risk it I'm just gonna take this back outside and put it on the ground and it'll it'll age and it'll release its spores so maybe I'll have some more puffball mushrooms next year this one on the other hand is gorgeous so I'm gonna slice right down through the middle just to make sure we're good if you're gonna eat one of these it has to be perfectly white all the way through and it is look at that it just looks like it almost looks like tofu you know I can kinda compare it to tofu but I'm gonna just dice this up I'm gonna not show you the whole thing because it's no big deal Dice it up. I'm going to dry saute it first, then I'm going to add some ghee, and then some garlic, some chives. Like my chives, wild chives are growing. Put some of that in there. I may try and find some wild greens. Yeah, I need to go do that. And then just put it over a bit of pasta. I'm actually just going to put them down in this yard right here. Yes, it needs to be mowed. Hi, Papa. What you doing? Um, I didn't want Papa to eat them, and I didn't want the chickens to eat them, so let's see if I can get some puffball mushrooms next year in this yard. And if you look closer I think you can see the yellow color a whole lot so I don't know maybe it'll work maybe it won't oh yeah I'm getting a bunch of these I almost forgot that I had planted some of these back here yeah I'm gonna take the tops off some of these too now about those wild greens well look at this 
This is the result of me scattering chia seeds all over the place and some of them getting kicked out here. These are grown chia plants. So I'm not going to take the tops off because I want them to flower and reseed. But I'm going to pick a whole bunch of these leaves. Oh, someone's laying an egg back in the van. Uh, and just uh, cook it up. Cook it up like uh, spinach. Sorry for the generator sound in the background, but uh, I have to run it to keep the baby chicks warm. Anyhow, uh, yeah, so chia greens. Here I got one. Green pepper's not very big, but it's been on the plant for a while, and it's not getting any bigger. I found a bunch of green beans. Those are my chives. Uh, one jalapeno pepper that's big enough. I got plenty of cayenne, but I think I'm only going to use one. Got a little oregano. There's some basil, some thyme. I think that, no, not thyme, rosemary. And, yeah, in addition, I'm going to put some garlic in there. Uh, I don't know, probably some other stuff, too. But I can't wait to get this cooked up. Okay, I've tried to record this like five times because my mouth is actually watering. Mmm, this is so delicious. Served over a bed of plain ramen noodles because I love them plain. And look at those mushrooms. Look at how beautifully brown they are. Their flavor is kind of, oh, I don't know, I want to say, mmm. Mmm, it is just, it's buttery. They taste so good. I added a little bit of soy sauce, but this is truly amazing. Mostly from my garden. And uh, I wish that other mushroom would have been good, but that's okay if it's not, because I've got enough with just the one. Oh, this is so good, you guys. Don't you wish you could have a bite? Mmm, delicious. Look at Papa. He's been licking his lips, but no. Sorry, sweetheart. Little doggies do not get to eat wild mushrooms and super spicy stuff. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is so good. He's mad. Look at this might be really hard to see, but I put a little root in there, and Patty's using it. See, look at this one, still hobbling around. <sighs> now, when I first started nursing the baby chicks, when I first brought them into the house, they were so weak, they couldn't even barely lift their heads up. And so I had to actually open up their beaks and put little drops of the Pedialyte inside their beaks and then they would you know do the little lap 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 thingy and um but the one chick one of the last two that are that's left in there the black one um he or she started taking it right from the dropper so i'm going to show you what that looks like i did that just this morning but now i'm just going to say she um i don't know if it's a he or she um she would eat on her own if i would put her next to the food or next to the water um, but she's not standing up to do it. She's just laying down. But she she would take it, you know, right from the little dropper. So here, take a look. It's very cute. See that? Look at that. It, it prefers to lean its head to the side. And I would just squeeze a little bit out and it would drop it. And if I would try and pull the dropper away, it would go after it because it wanted more. So this, this one smart chick, definitely. And Patty, uh, she started doing this too. So um, the others just started drinking a lot sooner. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest thing you have ever seen? That's how I did it. Just one little drop at a time, and it took it right out of the dropper. And I might mention too, I did this every hour, starting out with, uh, what, five chicks, six chicks? Yeah, six chicks, and then five chicks, and then four, then three, then two. Yeah, once an hour while awake, while I was awake. But it seemed to do the trick. The sun is trying so hard to come out. I am hoping the weather reports are wrong, that this, the rest of this storm is just going to blow by us. Because I really, really want to let uh, Torch and crew out into the yard. They're still in the coop. Um, they've been in, uh, three nights so far, maybe four nights since the 15th. Um, so I don't know if that's long enough. I know they don't like being cooped up in there. You know what? I may go ahead and let them out today. Um, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and make sure we're not going to get a bad storm in here because I don't want to be chasing chickens into a coop. Um, you know, come dusk if they don't want to go in on their own. 
if it's raining outside, so that'll be the determining factor. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't think that there's anything else. I actually think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.